Hi, Dr. Corey Miller here with your Rocio Christi News Minute, June 16th. Here are four stories that we are tracking. A professor from Polk State College gave a student four consecutive zero percents on essay assignments to the student that refused to deny the truth of Christianity. All four of the essay questions were polemical in nature. One of the essay questions reads in response to assigned reading, why did Christianity and its male gods want to silence these women? The student has stated publicly that the questions assigned are not open-minded questions. They instead are designed to lead course participants decisively to accept that Christianity is false and oppressive of women. One can see why. Liberty Council agrees, representing the 16-year-old community college student who currently holds a 3.9 GPA. It's calling for the termination of the professor's position, citing religious discrimination. Polk State is defending the professor. Apparently, the student should simply embrace the political truth and go along to get along. Remember, discrimination is bad so long as it discriminates against bad people, namely Christians. Did you know that there is nothing wrong, morally speaking, that is, if you're murdering a Trump supporter? Now, I'm not evaluating whether or not we ought to support Trump, but this is the view of University of Rhode Island professor and director of graduate studies, Dr. Eric Loomis. On his blog, Professor Loomis defended the honor of a Portland, Oregon protester who murdered a Trump supporter and then was shot dead by police in the course of being arrested. When one commenter on his blog mentioned that this protester murdered someone in cold blood, Loomis retorted, he killed a fascist. I see nothing wrong with it, at least not from a moral perspective. A flyer produced by the office of BGLTQ, always scrambling the letters, a student life at Harvard University informs students to beware of transphobia by informing them about gender diversity. What is gender diversity? Well, this diversity is so far reaching, in fact, that it can change literally from day to day. You heard that right. According to the pamphlet, for many people, cis and trans, gender expression, identity, and self-understanding can change from day to day. If gender is a state of mind, what happened to being born that way? What are we going to do with Lady Gaga's song? Lastly, we thought you might like to hear the new classes available at the University of Maryland. I mean, you can choose from LGBT 310, transgender studies. You can choose LGBT 350, LGBT people and communications, LGBT 448, black queer studies, WGSS, pleasure, intimacy, and violence, or WGSS senior seminar, transnational feminisms. The course catalog for the senior seminar states that the class will Engage with contemporary feminist debates on racism, casteism, right-wing moral panics, and sexual and gender identities, and settler colonialism to de-exceptionalize the U.S. as the center of feminist knowledge production. Important. And there you have it. The problems downstream in culture start upstream at the university, and that's why Rasio Christi is reaching students and professors with the gospel of Jesus Christ and the mind of Christ across the nation. I'm Dr. Corey Miller, and this has been your Rachel Christie News Minute.